was feeling fine in sync playing by just got ready and I'm gonna walk into town to get my walk in for the day and go and pick up some bits. I have to go to Superdrug to get some makeup and I also have to get some tan and I have to exchange a dress that I bought the other day. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I'm just packing my bags. I think I'm gonna go to a cafe afterwards and edit my video that will be up before this because I have a little bit of editing to finish off and just do a little bit of life preparation because I focus better out of the house when I'm at home. I'm just like too cosy, like I just feel too cosy and I can never get anything done. So today I've just chucked on my bodysuit from Zara. I got these necklaces in Stradivarius the other day. It's like a set of like gold, just layered necklaces. And then this cardigan I've had from H&M for a couple of years. And then these are my old trusty denim top shop Jamie jeans. I'm obsessed with Jamie jeans. They're like the only jeans that I wear. And then my Stan Smiths and don't fall over Shauna. I'm just gonna pack up my bag and wander into town. Chuck on a podcast. Ready, steady. friends always make fun of me. They say I've never seen dead without a coffee cup or a teacup in my hand, but it's true and I'm happy with it.
doors open. Oh, I just realized I'm a little bit sunburned. Oops. Hello everyone, so I'm just back from town and I thought I would do a really little haul as to what I got. I really didn't get much because I just had to exchange a dress in Topshop and I was just gonna get my money back but then I seen something that I really liked so I decided to get it instead and I got a few bits from Superdrug as well and I went to Specsavers which isn't very interesting and got some contact lenses. But I got this, I've wanted a kind of blazer that I can wear from day to night, from like presentations to work to different bits and pieces and I haven't seen one that like I liked the texture of and like the length of and all the things like at the same time. So I got this one from Topshop in a size 12. I was gonna get a size 10 but then I thought that I'll probably wear hoodies and like oversized things underneath it during the winter so it's better to size up in jackets and coats. So it was £50 but the dress that I was returning was £20 so it was only really 30 So I will try it on for you guys. This is it here. So it's like this lovely lightweight material and it's got like really slight shoulder pads in it and a double breasted black button. don't know if I like the shoulder pads what do you guys think comment down below what you think undecided now I really thought I liked it in the shop and now I don't know now I'm unsure well anyway that's what I got I don't know if I prefer a black one but I kind of want to step out of my comfort zone and get like something different colored but I'm going out for dinner and stuff with my friends tomorrow when we move up to university so I'm probably gonna wear it then for dinner and I might just keep the tags on and then return it if I don't like it. That could be a bad idea though. That's bad karma. That's bad juju. Maybe not. I need to shave my armpits. Um, but yeah, I will show you guys what else I got. I really didn't get much but I got a couple of bits and I will show you what I got. My skin is awful at the minute because of having to wear a mask in work. It's just not thriving but we move, we carry on. Your skin's not defining, your skin doesn't define you. First of all, I got this Bondi Sands tanning mousse that everybody uses. I've never used it before, but I normally would use Cocoa Brown, but in perfect honesty, I haven't tanned probably this year. I don't think I've worn tan this year so far, and I love having a tan, but I just haven't really been doing things that I kinda needed to tan for. This is bugging me, or wanted to tan for, so I didn't bother wearing any, but I'm going to try this out tonight. I'm not going to put it on before work. I'm going to get a like body shower. If any girls are watching this, which it's 99% girls, um, I'm going to get a shower before I go to work and I'm going to do my shave exfoliate moisturize shower. All girls know there's like four different types of showers. So I'm going to do my shave shower, shave exfoliate shower before work. And then when I get home from work, I'm going to put on my tan and then I will rinse it off in the morning. But yeah, I got the shade light medium because I don't like being too dark. I just like having like a nice glow. So I'll try this one first and then if I need to get a darker shade next time, I will. But I've only heard good reviews about this. I've never heard bad reviews. So yeah, I'm going to try this later on tonight. And then I got, it was buy one, get the second one half price. So I got two of these Aveeno Skin Relief Body Moisturizers. I love using these all over my body. I just find that they're great for my skin and they really help to like moisturize it and like kind of keep me smooth and shiny. And I needed to get some new makeup, but the annoying part about Superdrug at the minute is that you can't test the foundation colors and you can't test the concealers. So I completely wing, winged, wang, completely wang, guessed, I completely guessed what colours I am because I want to try a new foundation but I don't know if it's the right colour or not but we will see. I think it's pretty okay. I got the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. Got it in the shade 2R2C Rose Vanilla 
and I'm hoping, I think it's quite, oh, might be a wee bit dark. I'm gonna test it. Do you know what? I'll test it for you guys now and see if it's the right colour or not. Because, like, it's a vlog. But you're here with me. You're doing things with me today. So, I'm gonna test it out. But it's uh, supposed to improve your skin quality. I'm really bad at picking foundations, but this one's supposed to give you more radiant skin. So, we're all about radiance. We're all about glow. That dewy glow, you know? So, let's see. You know what? I think I might have been pretty bang on there, you know? Ish. She might be a wee bit too dark. Is it? Or is it okay? No, you know? No, it's actually okay. You can't really see it on my hand much, I don't think. It's a little bit darker, but I like to get slightly darker in my foundation anyway. But I think that that'll be pretty good. It doesn't seem very full coverage though, which is a shame. I should have checked that. It's not very full coverage, but it's more so for day use anyway, so I don't really mind having a bit of a less full coverage foundation for my day-to-day -day wear. But that'll be more so for just going out for lunch and wearing on a daily basis. And then I got this little nail polish, and I'm very neutral when it comes to my nail polish as well. I like nudes and pinks and light white colours and neutral tones. I'm a very neutral toned person. Neutral tones and black. I'm in between the two, neutral tone or black, somewhere in the middle. But I also got that. And then I also got the Maybelline Lash Sensational Multiplying Mascara. I love this, I've used it for years. I was actually recommended it to one of my friends in first year and I've used it ever since. Unreal, unbelievable. And then I just got boring contact lenses from Specsavers. And then I got two concealers to try, so I bought the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. I've heard reviews on this that it is quite like the Tarte Shape Tape, so I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. Um, so it looks about the right shade, like a couple of shades lighter than my foundation. But I will try this out this week. I got the shade 323 in Fawn. And then I also got this Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer. And this is a cheaper option and I've used this They've rebranded it and repackaged it and brought out more shades, but I've used this for a couple of years as well, and it's really good. It's a really good, like, high street concealer option. The shades are slightly different. I'd say that the L'Oreal one is more white, and the Lasting Perfection's more, like, beigey, if that makes sense. I'm not a makeup guru. I don't like makeup. Like, not that I don't like makeup, but I'm not, like, a makeup addict. I'm very just use the basics and I rarely buy new makeup. I only buy stuff really when my stuff runs out. And the odd time I'll buy a new eyeshadow palette or a new like lipstick or something. But yeah, I just like makeup that's good, that wears well and that lasts. So we will see. We'll try these out tomorrow and I'll see if they are worth it or if they're any good. But that's all I really got. I was in town for ages, but it's because I went to Starbucks and got a coffee and stuff. It is now 20 past two and I'm in work at four o'clock. I thought it was five o'clock, but turns out it's actually four, which is incredibly sad to be perfectly honest because I thought I had an extra hour, but that's okay. We shake, we move. I'm gonna go get a body shower now and do my shaving and all that fun stuff before work. So yeah, I will leave it there for now, but I hope you guys enjoyed my haul of all the little bits and pieces that I got. Nothing too interesting. And again, let me know down below what you think of that blazer, because I don't know. I might bring it back and get, oh, I don't know, like, I'm the worst. Every time I buy an item of clothing, I'm like, do I really like it? Do I really need it? Because I hate buying things that I don't wear. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna go get a shower and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So I'm just leaving to go to work now. I didn't get to pack my stuff for uni or do any of that stuff, but I made a really quick smoothie and brought some snacks in my bag. I have a banana, an apple, some rice cakes, this and some leftover pasta. So I'll have them for my dinner later. I was so unprepared today, but I will pop back on when I'm home because I've got to rush to work now to get it there on time. Hello everybody, so I'm just finished work. It is 12 p.m. and 
I am exhausted so I don't think there's really much else to say in this vlog but I'm gonna film tomorrow as well because I actually didn't get any packing or any uni packing stuff or buy anything for uni which is what my whole kind of plan was was to do that and I just didn't so I'm gonna go up to the apartment now and I'm gonna put on a layer of tan and I think I'm gonna make a cheese toasty and watch Moana because that's just kind of what I'm feeling this evening so I am going to go upstairs and do that now but I hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry that this outro is so dark but I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you like videos like this make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to try and start posting more consistently every week now that I am going to be back in more of like a uni like work life balance kind of routine so I will try film a little bit more and be more frequent with my videos but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one bye everyone editing Shauna interjecting about I must say two months after I took this video, I took this September 1st and it is now October the 23rd, 5th, I don't even know what date it is, there's so much to update you guys on, but yeah, you thought I would be, I thought I would be posting more videos and taking more videos, but no, I've took videos. Have I posted them? No. So this is the start of me posting more videos. So I'm gonna say I mean it this time that I will be more frequent. I feel like I look so different now than when I'm editing this video. It's been that long, like my skin's cleared up and all. But I'm gonna do another video on that. So yeah, as I said a minute ago, technically two months ago, I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.